Good morning campers, it is Wednesday the 5th of July I believe. Please ignore my horrible looking face, I haven't got any makeup on, I look awful. My eye is swollen because I'm just getting over an eye infection. But it is like, I don't know, half 10, quarter to 11. And we are getting ready to go to the airport today because this is the day that we go to Florida for three weeks. Um, and I'll be vlogging it, so that's exciting. So I have just finished doing my nails. They're a bit messy on the un underneath, but they're red and sparkly, a bit like Mickey Mouse, I suppose, but there you go. Nails for the holiday are done. So my suitcase is packed, and basically that's it now. It's like, I don't even know what the time is. It's like quarter to 12 now, I've packed everything, and just waiting now to leave. We're leaving here at about quarter to one, so in about an hour's time. Um, no, quarter to one, quarter to two, so in about two hours time to go down to the train station and then we're going to Gatwick. Then we're going down to Gatwick at quarter to two and then we are going to stay in the Block Hotel at Gatwick. And our flight is tomorrow morning at like 10 past 11. So yeah, that's it for the day. Let's see what else I get up to. from all areas. Yes. I was actually filming out the window, but it's really cool. Shortly arriving at London's Paris International. Change here for other national rail services. Please remain seated until the train is ready to Block Hotel at Gatwick Airport. Um, this is basically as soon as you come through my door, there's a big, massive, like, floor length mirror. Then you've got the bathroom here. I don't know where the light is for anything, so let me try and work out the lights. I don't really know. There's a light here. Is that the light switch? I don't know. I don't have a clue. So this is the bathroom. I need to work out how to turn on the light, but that's a mirror. There's a toilet down there. Sink. Da -da -da. Where is the light for this room? But it's basically like a wet room. So it just is a shower and a sink. Then you've got the big massive double bed over here with towels and stuff. The TV. And then this is how you control everything. So at the moment we're on the temperature. It's really cold in here so I'm going to turn it up. Although I'm not sure you can turn it up any higher than 24. Which is weird. Uh, lights. Oh there's the lights. So you can turn the bathroom light on. Oh there we go. Now you can see the bathroom better. There's a shower and everything that I just showed you a second ago. Um, so we've got the lights. Bedside light on. Oh, bedside light off. Is the window light on? Oh, this is so weird. I quite enjoy it. It's really weird though. Um, then you've got the blind and you can pull the blind up or down using this as well, which is quite cool. And then we've got this hanging bit here just to put all of your stuff in. And a bit round here where you can put all of your clothes and another mirror. Focus. If it would focus on me. But there's another mirror. And then I've got this wind view out my window. My parents have another room here too. Uh, they're just across the hall so I'll go and look in their room in a second and see what view they have. So yeah, we're here now. And... It's time to relax. I think we're just gonna chill for a little bit, then we're gonna go to the Weather Spoons, get some food and some drinks for the night. Um, but yeah, this is my view. Sometimes you can see planes taking off over the top, so if I see any, I will try to film them, but 
there's none coming at the moment we've just missed two but yeah it's a really nice hotel room i would definitely recommend block to anyone that's flying from the south terminal in gatwick because it's very convenient and very close and it's really nice actually i do have a bigger room than my parents which is brilliant but they gave me this key card so i'm not swapping So I am back in my room now. It is, I don't know what the time it is. It is 20 past eight. We went to Giraffe and had some food, which you would have seen. You won't have seen the food because I am a bad vlogger and I forgot to film it. Um, but I filmed the menu and then we went to Weatherspoons and had a couple of drinks. And then we went down to Marks and Spencers and I bought some mini Jaffa cakes to eat tonight um, and possibly take for the rest of them on the plane tomorrow. And now we're literally just back in our rooms, like I say, it's 20 past eight and I'm in my pyjamas. I've got <laughs> genie pyjamas on, um, so the Disney theme has started already. <coughs> and then I'm going to get ready for bed, watch some YouTube in bed, watch some TV and then head to bed for tonight um, because I'm going to be up at seven o'clock tomorrow morning, which isn't really that early. But um, yeah, need to have some energy for the flight to Florida. One thing I do think is really cool about the Block Hotel is that you can control everything through this little touchscreen iPad tablet thing here. <clears throat> so at the moment I can control the temperature, it's quite hot in here so I'm going to turn it down. Um, you can control the blind for the window that is behind me so you can tell it to go up or down. And you can control all the lights from here too which is really cool and I think when you check out the next day, like when you're coming to the end of your stay, it will come up and it will say check out on here. So you can check out using this screen as well. So it's really cool and really useful for anybody that wants to stay in the Block Hotel if they're flying from Gatwick or any other airport that has the Block Hotel. I'm not sure if any do, to be honest. Proud, very honoured to be part of their ambassador, you know. I'm not, I'm not able to comment on that. Although, are they putting earplugs in? Be always oh, good morning campers it is five to seven in the morning my alarm has just gone off it's time to get up and get ready and get on a plane to orlando let's go plane coming in to land how exciting oh i've got to focus now ain't it Coming into land. So which has gone like round underneath my eye which is very annoying and then I've just put the top part of my hair up because I don't want it in my face on the plane and this is my outfit so I'm literally just wearing a t-shirt that says honey on a really white tea, plain white tee and plain shorts and I am going to wear my converse so that's it let's go Oh my god, look how wonky my eyes look. <laughs> you don't realise until yeah, so you put it up and then they look really wonky. We have made it through security. Nobody got checked apart from Dad. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Nobody got checked apart from Dad. Um, and now we're just walking through security to find some food. And to get me an adapter because iPhone 7s are useless. Like 
very garish. So we have arrived in Florida. It is very hot and very sweaty and humid, but it's lovely. This is the outside of our villa. Um, I'll film it probably again in a second. And this is the hire car we've got. But we're here, I've unpacked, my parents are unpacking, and then we're gonna go to Walmart. So this is the car we picked. It's a standard SUV car um, in a gray color. It's a Santa Fe, I'm not really sure what that means, but my mum was really excited by the idea of it. Um, we're staying at Highlands Reserve. So that's like the state we're on, or property place we're on, I don't really know. This is the entrance way. So here we are. Hopefully we can get back in, because otherwise that'll be really awkward. Oh. It's definitely a lot cooler in here. And this is what you see when you first walk in. It's just like a living room, entrance room. Um, and there's a dining room this way. Then if you follow this way through, you're into the kitchen with the big American double fridge freezer, the breakfast bar area, oven, whatever, and the utility room. And then if you go through this door just here, let's find the light switch. We don't want to spend too long in here because it's really hot. I don't know how you turn the light on. Oh, down there. <laughs> um, if you go into this room in here, it's the games room. So we've got a pool table, a, what's this thing called? An air hockey table. And then over here, there is a darts board. It is really hot in this room though. It's always really hot in, this, in the games rooms because they can't have air conditioning in the garages. So that's fun. Then this is the living, the main living space. I always think there's a gap there. Um, with the big TV. And then you've got all these DVDs in the cupboard and books and stuff. And that's just how it looks there. That's the door down, around there. Then if we go this way, is the light going to turn on? I don't even know if it's that one. It's very annoying. 
I don't really know how you turn the light on. Well, this is another bedroom. You can't really see because I can't turn the light on. I don't know how to do it, but this is another bedroom that we're just not using. Um, this is focus. This is another bathroom. Again, we're not using this one, but it's here. Look at my frizzy hair. And then, let's turn off this light. And then in here is another room. Um, this is like a, a children's room. Uh, it's just like got Lego, it's all designed like Lego and things. But again, we're not using this one because there's no children with us. Then if you go down this way, there's me in the mirror. Um, this is the room I am staying in. Um, that's my bag there. And then that's my double bed. The wardrobe over there. The TV and the mirror and all of my drawers down here. I'm not really sure what's out this window. I haven't looked yet. I think it's just like the side of another house. Oh, it's the back. Oh, it's the back. You can't see um, when I work out how you open it, which I can never work out with blinds. Oh, there you go. That's all you can see out my window. It's like the back bit of the house. How do you close it again? Oh God, oh there we go. And then in here is just my bathroom. So sink, toilet, shower around there. It's also the pool bathroom, um, but we won't be using it for that. It'll just be my bathroom. So this is also a room. It's on like the side of my mum and dad's bedroom, which is absolutely ridiculous. Their bedroom is huge. And it has an Xbox and a huge massive TV and another entrance to the pool. Ridiculous. So this is my mum and dad's bedroom. It is just ridiculously humongous. The size of this bed is phenomenal. I don't even know how it got through the door. That's that little room that I was just showing you a second ago with the TV and the Xbox. And then you turn around here and there's a big like dressing table mirror thing with loads and loads of drawers. You have the TV on this side with, again, loads of drawers and some more drawers over here, bedside table. You come through to here. I don't know where the light is for this. I'm going to assume it's inside. But yeah, you come through to here and this is like their walk-in wardrobe. So there's just so much stuff everywhere, like stuff, space everywhere. And then you even have like a little mirror to see what you look like. Um, then you come out here and this is their humongous bathroom. They have one side each. I think this is going to be my dad's side, even though my mum's stuff is there. And then there's a big massive shower, walk-in shower, a huge bath. And then there's another side with a chair and a hairdryer, which is probably going to be my mum's side. And then in here is a separate little toilet. How huge is this? This villa is so nice. It's insane. And this is the pool and the back of the villa. That's just like, I don't even know. What would you call that? Yeah, yeah what is that? Oh, it's like the golf course. And then this is the pool. I'm trying so badly not to fall in. I don't want to fall in the pool. And then this, yeah, it is, there's switches. And then this is the jacuzzi. And this is the back of the house. Cute. Is it warm? Like, we are on our first trip to Walmart. Which is very exciting because it means I can get potato salad and pizza because I'm hungry because that plain food mm -mm, wasn't very good oh my God. huh so it is about quarter past eight we've just got back from Walmart we've put pizza and chicken wings in the oven and we're just about to get in the pool which is why my hair's like this and why I'm in a bikini let's go mmm food So it's currently like half past nine Florida time. I look a steak because I've just been in the pool and I've got my hair wet, it's gone all curly and it's all up in my head. Um, but we're knackered. So we're going to bed. 
And tomorrow we are going to get up in the morning and go to Walmart again and do a proper big Walmart shop go to Disney Springs, buy our magic bands, get them all set up and then we are going to go to Animal Kingdom to do our fast passes. We've got Expedition Everest as a fast pass and Navi River Journey as a fast pass and then what we're going to try and do is our fast pass for Everest is at 7 and the park closes at half 8 so as soon as we're off our Everest fast pass is to walk over to Flight Passage and do that. So that's the plan for tomorrow but for now I'm knackered so I'm going to bed. Well, I'm going to watch TV in bed and then I'm going to go to bed. So good night, world.